Yo, welcome to another episode of the Jews Collection. It's your boy Carter right here. It's your boy Donald. Yeah, so what we gonna get into today, uh, we're coming back with the second episode of the podcast and we're gonna, we gonna give y'all some jewels real quick. And what we wanna hit on the topic of is terms and conditions. Like, I don't even know if y'all remember me, uh, remember us bringing it up last time in the last episode of the podcast. And, but terms and conditions. And so what I wanna talk about is with that, um, man, it's so important that we start looking at things, almost any type of relationship, as a contractual agreement. Yes, yeah. it's, it's crazy, but you almost have to. And and if you think about it, relationship, well, not so much relationship, but a marriage, you you got to, that's an agreement. Mm-hmm. That's a that's a vow. So. Um, I think that you really should look at relationships as a um as as a contract or a license or some something to that effect. Yeah, that's a fact. And the reason reason I, we're definitely in agreement about that, even though we may bring in a sense of how we explain our perspectives about it, the reason we're in such agreement is because look at it when it comes to our phones. When you when it comes to getting an update, when it comes to even like whether it's an update with the apps or even in the sense of when you're purchasing a new phone and you got to deal with all the data stuff or a computer or even when it comes to your job and stuff, everything has terms and conditions or they have policies yeah. that, yo, this is the policy guideline that you got to um, carry yourself by. If you don't uphold this, there's consequences. Yeah. And people do that in relationships. Yeah, but you they get don't, banned or kicked yeah. off or, you know, and I think we don't we don't really look at we don't take a deep inspection into ourselves yeah. and what we want out of the relationship before the le- relationship is has a foundation we don't build a foundation off top that's a fact man that's so cool and we could deal with foundations at another time too so with terms and conditions and honestly even before you get to the point of having the terms and conditions of let's say a significant other and, and or whoever your your partner or whatever it is that may be, and you need to you almost honestly need to have terms and conditions with yourself because I think the yeah, person you gotta set those boundaries. Yeah, because it's like you don't even want to hold yourself accountable with stuff. Like people do that. Like yeah, people are okay with almost not everybody, but people that are that that's pretty much like yo, let's just go with the flow, blah these spot. Like they don't even hold themselves to a certain standard. Yeah, like you get you'll get people that will sleep around with anybody. Yeah. Like they, they don't, they don't, they're not conf, they're not careful about who they're willing to give they self to. Yeah. And I think, I think that's the craziest part of all. Cause like, if you think about sex, that's like, that's like the most intimate thing you can do with another person. That's a fact, man. So I, 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 me, myself, I definitely don't subscribe to the, just, just doing, just being out here to be out here, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So, mm-hmm. man, and then uh, man, I was watching a video and I read somewhere. It's like, man, when, whoever you have sex with, um, and we're definitely in a sense just to tie into that terms and condition. It's like you don't even when you're interacting with a person, like it, man, before it even gets to sex. Yeah. When you're interacting with a person, that person is gonna have a certain amount of influence on you, and you're gonna have a certain amount of influence on them. Like in some form of fashion, yeah. it may not be the and most. It, it may not stand out a lot. Yeah, it and it don't have to be in a relationship. That's that's well, a significant yeah. other type of relationship that can be in any relationship. Mm-hmm. And man, so when you give yourself to another person in that manner of sexually, you're taking up on almost in a sense like their ideas, this, their and the ideas, third, you putting your their energy. Oh. The, All the, types the spi- of stuff. that spiritualness of it, and yeah. it's like, damn, do I really want to give that amount of myself to another person? Because when you get yeah. away from a relationship, you take in certain things you thought were good and things are bad, and you be like, yo, I want next person to be like, woo, yeah. woo, woo, and you almost instantly doing a comparison, and then you're messing up that relationship because you and that person don't have an understanding. 
terms and conditions. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Y'all don't even have an understanding of what each person is requiring of the other one. Yeah. And so when you get to a place and you are able to communicate with each other and say, yo, this is my requirements. Yeah. These are my requirements for our relationship. And then the other person, of course, relationships comes with compromise. Yeah. You know, so, but it's like, yo, okay, yeah. this is what my expectations are. Let's talk this out. Some people, like with me, and this is just keeping it a buck, at certain areas of my life, like, it's, it's a struggle to communicate. Yeah. It's a str- certain areas of my life, it's a struggle to communicate. So if I can't do it verbally, what else can I do? And for those of y'all that are listening, write it down. Write it yeah. down on a sheet of paper what you're trying to get out so that way you be like, yo, because if I, because I, this is one thing that I noticed and I, and I want you, um, then you'll be able to definitely speak on. Um, this is one thing I noticed. A lot of times when you're trying to explain yourself to a person, yeah, depending on the mood or the vibe that's going on and you can be sincere in what you're trying to say, but if your tone is at a certain level, they could take it as you trying to attack them or if there's almost a dysfunction or not trust or not comfortableness in the relationship as is, then almost anything can be taken as boom. Oh, dang, this person. That's offensive. Is just, yeah, it's offensive to me. Yeah, um, I definitely, I definitely try to. That's why I try at most times to keep to keep my cool in all certain situations. It don't matter like how mad I try to be. I tr- I always try to keep calm and keep a clear head so I can so it don't feel like I'm attacking you. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Like we can we I can be mad but I don't want you to feel like I'm attacking you. Like I can be mad but cause you gonna react to me being mad. Yeah. Yeah. And I don't know your reaction. Mm-hmm. If, if we don't have that communication, that's why it's so important to set those boundaries and communicate with each other so you can understand, like, okay, I already know what this is going to do to this person. Mm-hmm. Like, and so, and so often we just hop into situations just off the vibe and just rock with it and flow with it. And it's nothing... And to be truthful, I've I've done the same thing, so it's nothing wrong with that. But we we just gotta move smarter, man. And that's that's why, honestly, like on this topic of terms and conditions, like how important is it to you that a person understands you? It's to me that's that's yeah. how we rock. Mm-hmm. Like that's how we gonna get the best out of our our situation mm-hmm. is how we understand each other, how we communicate with each other. Mm-hmm. Like that that's the that's the foundation in right there. Yeah, man. For me, one of the biggest things like if a person can understand me, that make that it, it's something like it. It, it means more to me. And so yeah. for me to want a person to understand me, because you know how people like, they'll do stuff, and I've done this in the past, where I've done stuff and my intentions were good, yeah. but the outcome was very effed up that yeah. it happened. Yeah. And I'm like, dang, well, I ain't mean for that to happen. But a lot of people ain't rocking with that. Well, I get it, you ain't mean for that to happen, but sh- it happened. Yeah. You get what I'm saying? So, but if I'm able to effectively communicate or lay out, like, yo, this is what's going on, blase spa. And sometimes it may not take me talking about it, but showing you like, yo, can yeah. you read this so that way, you know what I'm saying? I want to be able to express this as best as I can. Yeah. And ask them to do it vice versa. Like, yo, if you could, can you put everything down on paper? Let me read it. Let me look at it. Because if you, what people, this is what happens. People don't, sometimes, uh, sometimes people don't remember what you say. There are times people do. People may not always remember your actions. There are times people do, but people always remember how you made them feel. Yeah, that's that's they remember facts. how you made them feel. Facts. So if I open my mouth and say some like what you feel is me talking crazy and I'm not mindful of that. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like it it it'll, it will almost like instantly do something to the relationship. Yeah. And so with terms and conditions like yo yo y'all got to y'all got to catch this like for real, catch this. 
with terms and conditions, if you are able to effectively communicate what's going on on your end, if a person chooses not to accept it, then you know who you're dealing with. Yeah. You get what I'm saying? And because at one point we it, was talking about the being deceived. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You don't have to worry about a, per a person. Don't have to worry about if you're deceiving them. Yo, here it is. Woo, woo, woo. And you, cause and it helps you as a person grow. Yeah. No. You make less mistakes in in the just in the just flow of everything. Mm -hmm. It's less confusion on the flow of everything. So, and that's really. Yeah, that's a fact, man. That's the way it goes. So, yo. When y'all get off, when y'all finish listening to this, whether you're at your job, whatever it is that's going on, if you got a significant other, or even if you got a homeboy, hunger, whatever it is, yo, if you know your relationship is being strained, it may you may need to check the terms and conditions of your relationship. So that way you can see like, yo, okay, I just want to be able to get my point across. Because if you're expecting people to read your mind, even though they've been around you for a, a good minute, yeah. but they're expecting people to read your mind and they they don't... Some people can flow with you, but when, when key ones you need to rock with you and they don't understand what you're doing and they frustrated, you frustrated, y'all pretty much about to put a strain on a relationship. Yeah. And that's an unnecessary strain. So when you get off this show, if you need to practice on writing stuff down to be able to express yourself, letting yourself know, it's like, okay, let me be able to share this with this person. Whether it's good or bad or indifferent, let me express this to them so that way they yeah. know where I'm coming from. And then they and I can make a, a solid decision on what's the next step. So, yo, this has been another episode of the Jews Collection. This your boy Carter. Stano. Stay up.